let's have a look at question 13 in this video so we got $55,000 in the current period and $60,000 in the future period what's the maximum interest rate that we should have to spend $105,000 in this period and what's the minimum interest rate that we should have to spend $120,500 in the future period so these are two questions let's solve them separately let's solve the first one in this video and the other one in the next video so what matters here is the money that we have 55 and 60k so let's write that down we have the income in the first period which is 55,000 and we also have the income in the second period which is $60,000 now we only have 55,000 in the first period but we would like to consume 105,000 in the first period how can we do that well we can do that if we use the money from the future but of course the money from the future must be discounted in the present so what we want to have is consumption in the first period which is the money in the first period plus the present value of the money in the future and the rest is just math we know that the consumption that we want to achieve is hundred five thousand dollars hundred five thousand dollars equals to the money in the present which is fifty five thousand dollars plus the money in the future which is sixty thousand dollars divided by one plus the interest rate so let's make this a bit better let me zoom out so a hundred five thousand we can subtract fifty five thousand let's take this fifty five thousand to the other side this one we put it here so it's gonna be a hundred five minus fifty five which is fifty thousand dollars equals to sixty thousand dollars discounted at one plus the interest rate we're looking for the interest rate so we could do some cross product here which means we will have fifty thousand times one plus r equals to sixty thousand now we should leave only one plus r on one side so we can so we can get to that to that interest rate value one plus r is equal to sixty thousand divided by fifty thousand what's sixty thousand divided by fifty thousand that's equal to one point two so if we cancel these things we get only one point two meaning that one plus the interest rate is equal to one point two which means that the interest rate is equal to 0 0.2 or 20%. So if we have a 20% interest rate and we discount the money from the future, we can achieve the consumption of $105,000 that we want. And we were done with this part, the next question in the next video.